Do you want to explain why you were doing 61 in a 25 zone? One block from the victim's house, just moments after he got shot dead. I was drag racing. I'm a drag racer. You were drag racing? Mm. In a Prius? I don't win a lot. Here's what I don't understand. You were at the crime scene. Hour later, we find the car, and you just happen to be hanging out with this little freaky motherfucker, a registered sex offender. It was an empty playground. And this guy, who just happens to be working for uh, Pellet Chemicals, the victim's company. What? My boss was murdered? Oh, wow. What were you doing in his house, Nick? Why were you there? Where were you during the murder? I was making love. I was making love to a woman. Yeah. Murdering some ass. Detectives? No, uh, uh, I have a question. If one of us knew, uh, you know, who the shooter was, and he was willing to serve you that perp on a platter, he would be entitled to some sort of immunity, right? No. He would be entitled to some jail time. Because if he knew who the shooter was and didn't tell us, that would be obstruction of justice. Well, then I'm glad none of us know who the shooter is. Listen, if you think we're going to believe that this is all just a big coincidence, we're going to be here for a long time. Okay, wait. By saying we're going to be here for a long time, you're implying that we're not allowed to leave, which would only be the case if we were under arrest. Are we under arrest? No. We just brought you in for questioning. Well, then... Ipso facto, you don't have sufficient evidence constituting probable cause for an arrest warrant. Not yet. Well, uh, then, pursuant to the Fourth Amendment, I believe we are free to go. Are we not? Yeah, technically, yeah. Technically is good enough for me. Gentlemen, uh, we are free men. Let's go.